The title of our paper is Beyond Triplet Loss: A Deep Quadruplet Network for Person Reidentification. Person reidentification is an important task in video surveillance. Given an image of camera A, the task focuses on finding the image with the same person in camera B. The triplet loss is a common loss used in person reidentification. Here are some of their results on testing set. We can find in the testing set some false positives are more similar to the probe image. What's more, as we know, these false positives never show up in training set. Therefore, we conclude that the trained model with the triplet loss has lower generalization ability on testing set. Then we explain why it has a lower generalization ability. Here are two models, model A and model B. We can see both of them meet the ranking requirement on training set. However, model A works bad on testing set, while model B is still good. This is because the model A produces larger intra-class variance and smaller inter-class variance. The model A is corresponding to the model trained by triplet loss, where all the negative pairs contain the probe image as a reference, marked as black D. They don't care the other negative pairs, which don't have the probe image, marked as blue D. So we can see the model B has a stronger constraint than model A, because it requires the distance of positive pair, the green D. Has to be smaller than the distance of all the negative pairs, no matter black D or blue D. That's what we preferred. Based on this, we built a quadruplet loss that, adding the extra constraint, the blue D, to the original triplet loss. Here is the quadruplet network. In the paper, we also discuss the relationship between the current binary classification loss, the triplet loss, and our quadruplet loss in theory. The same color indicates the same kind of constraint. And alpha one and alpha two use to control the balance of different constraints. Here we show the inter and the intra-class distance. The blue line indicates the inter-class distance, and the red line means the intra-class distance. We can see our quadruplet loss can reduce the intra-class distance and enlarge the inter-class distance. Here are the final CMC performance on datasets. The red area means the results of the triplet loss and our quadruplet loss. Here are some samples from our quadruplet loss compared with previous results of triplet loss.